Who do you love? Who? God? You love God? Yeah. Many people out there, many of them misunderstand uh, the word love. Uh, it's a nice sign. Love. <laughs> you see that person who is running to you, you have your arms open wide. Uh, I did a wedding uh, two weeks ago, two weeks ago, and uh, the photographer told the young uh, husband, you go over there, told the young wife, you go over there. Okay, now I want you to run towards each other. And he had a very wide angle lens and he was looking. <laughs> and they are running, they are running towards each other and he has pictures. And if you look at the uh, lens, you can see them running towards each other. And then, big <laughs> hug. And then the husband, uh, it's a uh, young, uh, um, smaller woman. The husband picks her up and swings her around and around, swings her around in circles. And uh, they have the picture for their photography book. Uh, they have pictures of the two of them running together and hugging. Uh, does that mean uh, love? Yeah. That's what it means. Uh, loving, right? The Bible, um, 100, it's almost 120 years now, 120 years ago in Chicago, Illinois, at the uh, Deaf Church where I bickered, the Deaf congregation was established that same year uh, it was called uh, the German words. It was not even written in English. It was written in German language. 120 years ago, uh, they have the document from the Deaf Church called Our Savior Lutheran Church of the Deaf and Dumb uh, of the deaf and mute uh, people in Chicago. I helped to translate from the German to translate their constitution so they could uh, set up in a new place. But the Chicago congregation was the first uh, deaf Lutheran church that was independent itself. The deaf people, 16 deaf people, came to the pastor, who was a hearing person, and wanted him to learn sign language so that he could preach for them in sign language. And the first sermon was called, God is Love. God is Love. What does that mean? What do we do if I love someone? What do I do? So, there was one time in my life when I was a very young man and I was holding this young, beautiful woman. And and I thought maybe love meant continuing forever. 
Then, that's not a very good idea, you know. I loved that young lady, and I did love holding on to her. Uh, the young lady, uh, I thought, this feels like heaven. When I am holding her and just holding, I want to stay holding her forever. I would like that. But I don't think that is really what love means. Just holding, holding her? I don't think so. Did I really love the person? Yeah. I, I truly love the person. And still now, 36 years later, 38 years later, uh -oh. we, were, we were dating. So that was before we got married. 36 years ago, we got married. I'm, I'm okay. Uh, 38 years ago, though, when I was uh, sweetheart with the lady, I, uh, I knew that I truly loved her from the first on. But love, people misunderstand love. I have seven children with the lady. Uh, I didn't give birth to them. <laughs> she gave birth to the children. Uh, but seven children, and those children, the seven, do I love them all? Yeah. Yeah. I was standing there when she gave birth. I stood there and I watched as they were born into the world, and I of them as much as I could. Now my baby, my baby, the last of my seven, uh, is flying away, going off to college, and I will be an empty nest bird myself. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, my babies, I raised them, the reason, so that they could fly away. That's fine. You know, I love them. I love all seven of them still. But love for the people of this world does not mean to hold them and not let them fly away. That is not what it means to love a person. To hold them and to stop them from flying away is not right. I think that it is good that they fly away and find their own loves in this world. That's good. Love. God loves us. Love, love, love. It's so much more than love, really. When you love a person, you're willing to give them what? What can we give to show a person our love? What do we give? Oh, many of the young people today, they give their body. You know, I will, I will give them a sex. What? Is that what it means, love? Not really. No, no. It's more than that. Sex uh, may be part of love, but it is not full love. Oh, if you really love me, Many of the men will say, sex equals love. Not true. Many of the women know that. Not true. Are you willing to give more than sex? I hope so. I hope so. Okay. What are we willing to give? Let's put this. Let's put sex way down here someplace. 
<laughs> what, are, what are we willing to give? Willing to give my money. Ah, the most important thing in the world, money. When I was dating, I would go out to uh, the expensive restaurants uh, like uh, Taco Tico. I, I would bring this uh, beautiful girl to an expensive restaurant and spend all kinds of money. I mean, ooh, spend my money a pop and a taco. Uh, <laughs> 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 that was our first date. She remembers our first first date. I told her I would take her to a uh, big dance, and she said, didn't even ask me for a date. I said, I'll take you to Taco Tico. <laughs> not, not very expensive, not. Uh, but uh, money is most important. Well, when she dies, I, I will marry a rich woman. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can marry a rich woman as easy as you can marry a poor woman. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> right! Exactly right. Karen is right. Love does not equal money. Right. If I am looking for a rich woman to marry, I'm looking for the wrong thing. Money does not equal love. But I should be willing to give money. I don't think that it's the most important. No. Uh, what? What are the most important things? God? <laughs> Teach them about future. Many of the young people, the first priority is God? No. Mm. Not today. Not very often now. <clears throat> Not very often now. Uh, people, when I was young, People would ask, before they went out on a date, they would ask, are you a Christian? If they said no, the person who was a Christian would say, okay. And they would not ask for a date, because they didn't want to date a person who was not of the same God. If we believe in the same God, we will go to the same heaven. Okay? When I was counseling the uh, husband and wife uh, who were running towards each other, when I was counseling them for six weeks before their marriage, I told them, you are Lutheran all of your life. You've been Lutheran. This man is uh, now Pentecostal. Before he was Catholic. Now, uh, do you believe in the same God? Are you two going to the same heaven? Did they think of that before they started to date? Did they think of that before they started to uh, share their money or share their bodies? Did they think, are we going to the same heaven? My wife, I met her at a Lutheran college, so she was already a lifelong Lutheran person. Uh, we knew we were planning on going to the same heaven. My children, I told them, you cannot start dating until you are 16 years old. My twin girls often said, thank you. 
because they did not feel the pressure from the other kids in their class when they said, oh, you should have a boyfriend. You should have a uh, sweetheart that uh, me, you're kissing with like me. And they would say, I can't. I can't date until I'm 16 years old. So there was no pressure from the other boys or girls. Uh, when the boys asked them, would you date me? They would say, sorry, I cannot date until I am 16 years old. Many boys got turned down because they weren't 16. And many didn't know that my twins would have said no if they wouldn't have been 16 or less. Um, they don't have to uh, feel the pressure of dating. And my boys were the same. I told my boys the same as I told my girls. When you're 16, you can begin to feel ready for marriage? Not yet. But dating, yeah. To find out what is truly important. What I am willing to give for love. Money? Yeah, 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 yeah. it's important. Somewhere down here. But God is most important? That's true. Jesus says, if you love anything more than me, you are not really loving me. You cannot love a father more than me and truly love me. What does that mean? I don't love my father? Oh, that's foolish. I love my father. But I know my father is going to the same heaven as I am going. I know that my father, his God, he taught me from ground up should be most important. He showed me that his God was most important in his life. He showed first, he showed me every week we go to church. My money I put in the offering plate. And he would always give one tenth. That's not a requirement, but he showed me that his priority is that God is first. If we were having a poor week or a poor month, he still gave one tenth. Okay. You know, maybe I don't have new shoes. But he gave one tenth to his church. And I thought, that's kind of silly. But he told me, God is most important. First love of his life. Wow. Okay. Uh, my mother was most important. First was God. Then he told me that he could love my mother because first he loved God. And to understand God wanted him to love my mother. My brothers and sisters and all of my family, they were all loved, very well loved, from my father because God wanted him, my father, to know that he gave my father my mother. Okay? His wife was his gift from God. And he always showed me that he knew his gift from God was his wife. He showed me every day that my father's feeling was his gift from God for his children. 
They were not a bother. They were not a curse. They were not a inconvenience in his life. They were his blessing from God. My father showed me, you know, these people, these blessings from God, he could love us because first, he loved God. And he knew the blessings were these things. What else am I willing to give? He had six children. Back then, people would say, you have a big family. He came from a family of 11 children. Six children did not seem like a big family. <clears throat> what was he willing to give for his God? What was he willing to give for the people that he loved? What are you willing to give for people that you love? Money? Okay. Time? You willing to give time? You know? Many people, when uh, the church says, we want you to come and work, they say, oh, let me give you $10. That's fine. Go away. I don't have time. Time is important? Yeah. In this uh, crazy, busy world, you can know who and what is important because of time. Most important, where is most of our time? Watching TV? <laughs> where is most of our time? Sitting in front of our computer? Most of our time is used for I remember my father was very busy, but he always would come to my wrestling matches. He would come, he would come and watch me run two miles. Just running. I mean, I told him, you don't have to come. You know, it's kind of boring. A person running is not an exciting thing. He said, yes, I want to be there when you come in for that last lap. I want to be cheering, shouting for you to win. <laughs> he would show me his time was important, but his time was a gift to me. Money, time, skills, our talent. Um, Laverne, you, you've seen my uh, guitar playing in my band. Yeah. I play my guitar and I sing and uh, it's fun. But my talent, do I ever use that for God? Yeah, yeah. Again, the hearing church is having a one day, all day, uh, BBS. They don't have uh, the place right now. They are building onto the hearing church. So they don't have a place for BBS for a week. But they are going out to have a, like a camp for one day. And they asked me, can I teach the uh, acting for the uh, story? I told them yes. And they said, and you have to play your guitar for the children at night. Uh, we'll have a fire and uh, sing, sing together. And then I have to play my guitar. I told them yes. I told them, not only me, but my sons, two or three of them, might be coming as well. Because my children learn to play the guitar. 
and different uh, instruments, uh, different different things. You know, they know how because I share my talent with them. I wanted to show them I love them, so I did these for them, and that skill that God has given me, I shared with them. And I don't play my guitar here. Why? <laughs> that would not be, yeah, sharing my talent would not be fun for you, no. Uh, but, the skills, the skills that we uh, have to share them for God and for his people, uh, to have a skill uh, at signing, to have a skill of being able to communicate very smoothly in sign language. I'm not there. I am an old, fat, bald, blind man, and I cannot communicate your deaf culture, your deaf world. I cannot communicate with them like you can. Your skills are way above mine. And I want you to use your skills to communicate your priorities in your life. Your skills, your time, your money, all of that, it's called a big English word called Stewardship. We give to God what He has already given to us. We love God <coughs> most. We love God all. All of my love, my heart, my life, my time, my skills, all of my gifts. I love you and give it all. So what do I do? If I want to serve him and show him my love, um, sex, well, if I use sex right with marriage, that can be an indication that I believe that his plan is right. If I use my food, my life, my all of the things that I can give to people, if I use them for him, I can use them rightly. If I love a woman, I can do for her as God has done for me. Use my time, my skills, my treasure, my, all my life for the person that I love. But they have to know that first and all, I love God. Then I can love other people. I can love my children, my family. Sometimes they will turn against us, right? I love to see Stacy up here. Mom and daughter, they are not enemies. They are very clearly loving each other. And I love to see families together. That is wonderful. That's what God wants. But sometimes people, their families will be. Members of the family is your worst enemy. Crazy. Families were not meant for that. But as we love God, and we are all the children of God, we have to know, sometimes that will happen. Peace will not be in a family. People will turn against us. But, what do we do? We continue to show our love. 
we continue to show God's love because people need the Lord. People need for us to show them not only with signs and words, but they need to show with our life to show them that God loves them, that Jesus came the reason to forgive them and to give them eternal life.